Hey, this is Ralph. I want to pick up where we left off. I've got this really simple database here and I created this transactions form. It's pretty messy looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my home ribbon and uh, let's go over to design view. And here's this sloppy looking form. And fortunately, a lot of the stuff in the form design tools ribbon shouldn't be terribly shocking. A lot of it's self-explanatory. We have a bunch of different controls. You can think of these as objects you can put onto the form. There's arrangement stuff and formatting stuff. A lot of this will be familiar to you. Bold, italics, colors, and things like that. Um, but let's go and check this out. I want to clean this up a bit. So you can select things pretty easily here you can just click and drag a little rectangle so I'm gonna select my first three fields for transaction ID employee ID and client ID and if I go to my arrange ribbon here a lot of stuff is kind of grayed out for me but over here on the left I can go ahead and choose stacked lines those up all nice and neat let me control Z to undo that they're all still selected over on the right I could choose my align option and do a line to left Eh, that may or may not be that cool so let me control Z to undo and I'll go back to stacked again and this puts the labels right underneath each other and it also puts in the actual field values right underneath each other and by the way these are controls here these three in fact all five of them that I have on here are specifically they are called bound controls because they're bound to the actual um, data in my table more accurately though the labels are unbound controls versus the actual field the data values here these are bound controls so what that really means is just check this out um, if I were to make a change to a label no big deal I can head over to home go to form view and yeah it's messy looking but it still functions okay if I go back to design view and if I made a similar change though to this bound control and went over to form view and tried something it's gonna get screwed up here because I've I've altered a bound control and I'll I think I just saved my change and I didn't want to won't let me there yep, so let me uh, back out of this it's probably gonna I think I shouldn't have done this with a uh, primary key ah there we go I'm back in so let me get rid of it transaction ID go ahead and fix that up transaction ID I think I'm all fixed up so I should be ready to go so really easy to work with unbound controls you can change you can reword them right there by the way I don't have nice user-friendly captions I could change that over in my property sheet on the right I could put in more user-friendly names or I could just type it in by hand and do it right here too that would also work I'm gonna go ahead and take these fields down here and I will also arrange stack and but I'm gonna stick these off over to the side alright so now my form is starting to look a little bit better under form so transaction ID employee ID client ID have the transit transaction date transaction hours and you can use this to start entering data into a form and that's all a form is a form isn't technically essential to a database it's simply a user-friendly way to interact with the tables you can use forms to enter data modify data and things like that and to look up particular records so since transaction ID is a primary key I can just skip right past this and I'm gonna go ahead and take a few minutes and I'm gonna enter a number of transactions I'll go ahead and record the first one and then I'll pause my recorder as I enter in some more and then I'll show them to you okay so for instance I can take employee A that's remember I have employees ABC and clients L M N O so employee A worked with client M and they did this on uh, 2 2 13 I'll just put in some dates like that for seven hours and I'll just press my tab key and it's automatically gonna jump me over to a new record so I'm gonna do this I think for about 10 transactions and I'll just randomly I'll just mix up different employees and different clients so I'm gonna do this about 10 times 
Okay, so I've entered in 10 transactions. It's probably even easier if I go to my transactions table and show you this. So basically I've got um, a mixture of my three employees, A, B, and C, working with a mixture of my four clients, L, M, N, and O, on different dates in early February and for yeah, different numbers of hours. I actually tried to be a little bit careful so that I didn't have the same employee working with the same client on the same day and that kind of stuff. But honestly, it really wouldn't matter too much. So you've got an employee working with a particular client. But you could do things like, for instance, you'll notice, um, let's see, where do I have? Yeah, so employee B works with client O on February 4th, but employee C is also working with client O on February 4th. So we had two employees working with this one client on the same day for approximately the same amount for the same amount of time. So you can do stuff like that just to do some little experiments with uh, realistic situations in your database. Okay, but I got some uh, I've got some transactions to work with now, and you'll notice in my form things are looking pretty nice. I've got the transaction ID, the employee ID, the client ID. Um, certainly it would be nice if my employee's name and client name were showing up, but I'm going to kind of skip over that point for a second and just kind of show you this basic look and of course you can navigate through your form quite easily. And if you want those names to show up, a good and easy way to do that is just to do the lookup wizard. And I think I'll do that in a separate video. You know, the lookup, the um, the lookup wizard field types under transactions, under design view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So for employee ID and client ID, we could jump down and you could do lookup wizard for those, and that would be kind of nice. But I'm going to skip over that for now. Not too critical for us for these examples. All right. So let me close this. Close this. Now the next thing I would like to do, and we'll have to pick this up in our next video, is when I do enter in a new transaction. Uh, I put in a particular transaction hours and of course employee has a certain pay rate I would like to keep track of the charge going on to that particular client okay so that's what I want to do next do a little calculation inside of my form that'll be a calculated control